week's first alert traffic tracker. The wheels are now in motion. I'm, I'm, I'm joyful. Why so happy? Well, we got answers for her after her water bill came in hundreds of dollars higher than normal. We first told you about this problem last Thursday, and a few hours after that story aired, the Birmingham Waterworks responded. Our Josh Gant was there when Waterworks personnel arrived today to take care of the problem. So what happened, Josh? Yeah, well, uh, the Waterworks did find a small leak, and they say it justifies that high water bill. Coleman is very skeptical of that, seeing as the board admitted is dealing with a, a few glitches in its new billing system. Coleman is getting some help and she is thankful for that. There is nothing wrong with my plumbing. Hours after our report on 74 year old Johnny Coleman's high water bill, her phone started ringing. Someone from Birmingham Waterworks was on the other end. In less than 24 hours, the wheels of the mechanics of the people spoke up and things began to work out for me. Coleman hired a plumber and says he didn't find the leak. Monday, Birmingham Waterworks showed up and found a small leak in the valve of her hot water heater. The Waterworks says that leak, not its billing issues, is why her bill is so high. Their spokesperson explains they looked at her average usage in their investigation. We knew that something was out of range. Either we misread her meter wrong because it could be human error. We read the meter once a month or you could have a leak. Coleman still finds that hard to believe, but is thankful the leak is fixed. We're told the Waterworks H2O Foundation is stepping in to help pay some of Coleman's water bill. The wheels are now in motion. I'm, I'm, I'm joyful and I'm hopeful that it continues to, to pan out to be a, a good thing. I'm hoping that they are being honest with me. If not, I'll be screaming bloody murder. Ms. Coleman will receive an adjustment on her bill for having a leak. We will put a protection on her account to give her time because I know she's used to paying a certain amount of money. Now, we didn't see any water leaking from Coleman's hot water heater. The water work says that with these types of leaks, you will not find uh, any standing water because the leak is actually on the inside. Something to note here, the water works hasn't cut off anyone's water since October because of those billing issues. They are very optimistic that system will be back to normal by March 1st.